Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a stocking again, but this one has some holly on it and it has some gifts and presents and stuff inside the stocking. So the colors I chose to use is pink and that's just for some of the gifts. And then this darker color, um, I'm gonna do a purple and then I'm going to do dark blue for this darker, these darker packages. And then this gift here is going to be a lighter blue. And that's going to be these two here. You can pick any colors you want. You don't need to do the colors I'm doing. This is obviously going to be white. This is the holly, so it's going to be green. But it's going to be yellow and not red in here for the holly. And I know that sounds weird, but the stocking is red. So that's the reason for that because it, it just would look weird. So I'm going to do yellow. Um, actually, if I had orange, I would do orange because orange holly is British holly. So, but I don't have the right color of orange, so I'm just going to do it yellow. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter hook because a lot of my stuff is worsted. So let's jump right into this. So we are going to start with your base color. Mine's this pink because that's what my whole project has been is pink and I'm going to do that throw, Christmas throw that I'm talking about. So chain 26 and do 25 single crochets. That is my 26. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go into these back bumps to do my 25 single crochets back up. You do not have to do this. This is what I've chosen to do. So this is my 25. We're going to incorporate the red right away. So chain one, turn your work. The first row is incorporating red. So you're going to do five single crochets with your base color. That's my fifth one, so I'm going to pull up a loop. Now, this is the back of my project, so I'm going to just pull my piece over and hold it with my thumb. I'm going to add my red to finish the stitch. So you just need a short little tail, don't need a big one. With your red, I want you to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. So try to keep this loose. You don't want to pull tight on this because it'll roll up. So just try to keep it loose. With your base color, you're going to do nine single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. So turn it this way. Don't turn it that way because it'll get really twisted if you do. So you want to keep these not getting twisted as much as possible. So we're off to the races. 
Your next round is going to be eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to weave in my base color. With my red, I'm going to do 13 single crochets. So, so far it's just like the other stocking I did, if you did that with me. This will be my 13th stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. I'm going to run out of some of my pink. Round four. It's going to be three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red. Now there's a stitch in there that is blocking it, so we'll make sure you get into that stitch. You're going to do 15 single crochets. This is my 15th stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my base color. So make sure that's loosey goosey. And I'm going to do seven single crochets to the end. That's my seven, chain one, turn your work. Round five is going to be six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do 16 single crochets. This is my 16th stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my base color, and with my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round six, three single crochets. Mm -hmm. 
That's my third stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do 17 single crochets. This is my 17th stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my base color. With my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets. Chain one, turn your work, easy peasy. Round seven, you're going to do five single crochets. It's my fifth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my red. With red, I'm going to do 17 single crochets. And this is my 17th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. And I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round eight, I'm going to do four single crochets. So my fourth stitch starts into the red, so I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to finish it with the red. With the red, I'm going to do 16 single crochets. This is my 16th stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my base color, and I'm going to do five single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round nine. Round nine is five single crochets with your base color. I'm going to finish that with my red. With red, I'm going to do 15 single crochets.
that's my 15th stitch. I'm going to finish with my base color and I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 10, round 10 is going to be 8 single crochets with your base color, this is my 8th stitch, uh oh. So I'm going to finish that with my red. With my red I'm going to do 12 single crochets. This is my 12th stitch so I'm going to finish it with my base color. And I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round 11 is going to be 5 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to finish that with my red. With my red, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th one so I'm going to finish it with my base color and with my base color I'm going to do 9 single crochets back to the end. Chain 1, turn your work. Round 12 is going to be 9 single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. So I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my base and I'm going to do 5 single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work. Just about running out of my pink. I have to add some more. 
Round 13 is going to be five single crochets with your base color. That's my fifth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my red. With my red, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch, so I'm going to finish it, finish it with my base color, and I'm going to do 9 single crochets to the end. Chain 1, turn your work. Round 14 is going to be 9 single crochets with your base color. This is my ninth stitch. I am going to finish it with my red and with my red, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. Stuff is slippery sometimes. This is my 11th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So this is where we're going to start bringing in the green, the yellow, and white. So with your base color, I want you to do four single crochets. This is my fourth stitch. I'm going to finish it with green. So pull down on everything. With green, I want you to do one single crochet. And then we're going to switch to yellow. So I want you to finish this stitch with yellow. With yellow, I want you to do one single crochet and I want you to finish that with the green. With green I want you to do one single crochet and I want you to finish that with white. We have a lot going on right now. I gotta weave in all the stragglers at the back. With white, I want you to do 10 single crochets. So I guess you don't have to weave in everything at the back. You can just weave in your base color. Everything else can be tied.
This is my 10th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. And I'm going to do eight single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. I had to count to make sure <laughs> I had it right. So, your next round is just going to be green and white, so we can cut off the yellow. cut off the red. So green and white is all you should have attached right now. You're going to do eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch, so I'm going to finish that with my white. With white, I'm going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with the green. With green, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my five, so I'm going to finish it with my base color. And I'm going to do three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 17 is going to be two single crochets with your base color. On the second stitch you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to finish it with your green. With your green you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish the third stitch with your white. With your white, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're just going to pull up a loop and you're going to go back to green. With your green, you're going to do three single crochets. This is my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. With white, I'm going to do eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch. 
So I'm going to finish it with my pink. With my pink, I'm going to do eight single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Alrighty. Round 18 is going to be eight single crochets with your base. This is my eighth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. With the white, I'm going to do eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my green. With green, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish it with my white. With white, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my green. I got some of this sparkly stuff stuck on me. There we go. And with my green, I'm going to do two single crochets, finishing that with my base color. And I'm going to do my two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So this is what you should have, the holly done and stuff at this point. So your next round is going to be four single crochets. This is round 19. That's four single crochets. You're going to finish it with your white. Oh gosh. With your white, you're going to do 13 single crochets. That's my 13, the hard way. I kept trying to not get that green. I kept weaving that in for some reason. Uh, finish the 13th stitch with your base color and then do eight single crochets for your the end row, end the row. Chain one, turn your work. So, um, I'm pretty sure we are done with the green. I'm going to cut the green off because that was really annoying me. So I'm going to leave a tail 
like I have, I do with all my ones. I'm going to keep the white and the base attached. So, round 20 is going to be eight single crochets with your base color. This is my eighth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. With my white, I'm going to do 13 single crochets. That's my 13. I'm going to finish it with my base and I'm going to do four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. This one is one of my favorites, even though it's kind of a shorter stocking, it's still one of my favorites. All right, this is where we're gonna start adding all kinds of different colors. Uh, white is not going to be one of them. So we're gonna lose the white. Cut it off with the tail. We've got a ton of other colors to add into here. I'm just going to tie some of my pieces back here in double knots. So, so as far as these other colors, let me explain. You're going to see asterisks besides some of the numbers on my written, my pause screens where I put my written patterns there's going to be asterisks and I will tell you what colors I'm using but if you're not using the same colors as me it might confuse you a little bit so the asterisks I put on pink and blue so asterisk A for pink and asterisk B for blue you've probably already seen it because I usually put the pause screen up before I show you the B is for the dark blue color. So there's going to be a B in there along with all the asterisks and then there's going to be an F which is the purple. All of this will be on my screen. I just thought I'd better explain what the asterisk is there for. So chain one and turn your work. I better pull out my little tags. So this blue that I'm using, I think it's just called blue jean. Craft Smart. Oh, cornflower. Sorry, it's a cornflower blue. That's a Craft Smart yarn. And then this, I have no idea. This is so old, I've had it forever. So I don't know what color that is. I'm running out of room. I've got a whole pile of colors on my table and I'm running out of room. So get your colors ready that you're going to need, which would be your pink, your purple. Uh, my blues. So there's not really much that you need of each color. Because they're just gifts. So I'm probably going to be cutting mine off into long strands so that they're not all attached to the balls. It's probably the smarter way to go. So we're going to do four single crochets with your base. This is my fourth stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop. So the first color I'm going to do is dark blue. Oh gosh, find the end of it. 
So this darker blue color. And I'm going to do three single crochets. So on my third stitch, <laughs> I'm going to add the lighter blue color. This is going to get messy. So make sure you're pulling down on everything nice and snug. I'm going to try to weave it all in, but I really don't see the point. Yeah, I'm not going to try to weave it in. I'm just going to go. Um, so with the asterisk B, you're just going to do one single crochet, and then you're going to finish that with the blue that we started with, the dark blue. With the dark blue, you're going to do three single crochets. So on your third stitch, you're going to add pink. So we'll cut these all off after, if you do it the way I do it. So with your pink, you're going to do two single crochets. And then you're going to add purple. And you're going to do one single crochet. You're going to finish that one single crochet with your pink. And you're going to do three single crochets with your pink. You're going to finish that with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do eight single crochets. And this is my eighth. So chain one and turn your work. So let's cut some of these colors into long strands. The only one I don't cut off is my base color. So my purple, there's not a whole lot of purple actually. I don't really want to go this much. There's not a whole lot of purple. So. There, so now I got all my colors just hanging. It's going to be so much easier to, to untangle myself. So, your next round is round 22. You're going to do nine single crochets with your base color. This is my ninth one. So I'm going to finish that with my pink. And I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm just going to pull up a loop and then I'm going to finish it with my purple. With my purple, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to go back to my pink and I'm going to do three single crochets with my pink. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it. So finish this with my B, which is dark blue. So 
and I'm going to do three single crochets. Make sure you get under both pieces. So on my third stitch, this is where I finish it with my light blue. My asterisk B is just blue. And I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my dark blue, my B, and I'm going to do three single crochets. I almost confused myself. So I'm going to finish that stitch with my base color. I always pull too tight. And I'm going to do four single crochets to finish the row. Chain one, turn your work. So there's the start of the gifts. And you can pull these all out of your base color. Round 23. It's going to be five single crochets with your base color. That's my fifth stitch, so I'm going to finish that with my asterisk B, which is blue. With my blue, I'm going to do five single crochets this is five so I'm gonna finish that with my base color With my base color, I'm going to do two single crochets and I'm going to finish that with my pink. With pink, I'm going to do three single crochets. This is my third. I'm going to finish that with purple. With the purple, I'm going to do two single crochets. Not sure why I think I need to weave all this in. You don't need to be weaving all this in. Maybe just your base color. So with your purple, do two single crochets. And then you can finish that with your base color. And your base color, you're going to do eight single crochets. That's my eighth stitch. Chain one, turn your work. So it goes to 25. We're on round 24 right now. So just about finished. This one's a bit of a long one. You're going to do nine single crochets with your base color. This is my ninth stitch. So I'm going to finish that with my purple. And I'm going to do one single crochet with my purple. And I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do one single crochet with my base. I'm going to finish that with my pink. With my pink. I'm going to do one single crochet 
I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish with my blue. And with my blue, I'm going to do one single, oh sorry, two single crochets. On my second blue, I'm going to finish it with my base color. My base color is going to be one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my blue, asterisk blue. And I'm going to do two single crochets. On my second one, I'm going to finish it with my base color and I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. So, chain one, wouldn't really turn your work. Um, that's the end of the presents. So all of these colors, leaving a tail, don't cut your base color, but your blue can go. Your pink and your purple, now just keep, keep tails, because you're going to want to tie this or you're going to want to and then my blue just has a little tail left anyway, so I'm just going to cut that off. So I wasted a bit of yarn there because I made them too long when I pulled them out, but no big deal. I'd rather pull it out like that than be trying to untwist my bobbins and stuff. I just don't want to mess around with that. So chain one and turn your work, and your last round is one single crochet with your only color you got left, your base color. 25 single crochets, one in each stitch. That's my 25. So there is our stocking with our presents in it. You can fasten off if you want. Me, I need this to be bigger. Um, some of my other patterns have 30 rows in them. Let me show you. Show you some of my stuff. So this last stocking that I did with the white and the green if you did it with me. That has 24 rows in it. I guess this round, this had 25 rounds in it. So I guess I don't have to add, but this this um, ornament that I did, it has 30 rows. So they're not all gonna be the same size and I'm trying to make a blanket. So um, sometimes you just wanna put an extra, I guess I don't really need an extra row. This has 25 and 24, so. Uh, yeah, fasten off. So that's it. Fasten off and uh, weave your end in. I'm going to take care of all this crap at the back. So, as far as um, blocking, you've seen the directions, so you can either, it's wet blocking, so you can either wash it in the washing machine or you can spray it with water. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray it. And these blocking pads that you can buy, the reason why they, they look like this is because you can put them together if you have a bigger project, but I just have these small little panels. so. 
there's really no need but it has the lines on it too like you can buy the cheaper ones from walmart that you buy for kids bedrooms you can buy those but these ones have lines on them so you can you know you definitely know that your project is going to be straight so you just want to soak it with water now i just i do everything not just the edges but i concentrate on the edges i think i need more water in my thing so i've done a number of these videos today so um, my water is running out so I also spray the middle of it just because I'm going to probably be pulling and stretching a little bit. So once you have it wet, all you need to do is put it into shape. So this is fairly square on this corner, so I'm just going to pin that the way it is. So there we have it. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.